This right here is a scale 118 Mercedes-Benz SL63 AMG by Maisto. This is a special edition car costing around $26, $27. Could even be a little bit higher wherever you go, or cheaper for that matter, um, especially if you go to a wholesale club. This car overall is pretty good. It's one of their newer ones from, I think, about two years ago. So it has, for the most part, all or some good design. However, there are some little uh, quibbles I will have with it. So let's get started. Now, first of all, I have already done a review on this, but again, it was with the old camera. So this is a request to do it again. Um, I realize I've been doing a lot of uh, re-reviews again. It might get a little bit boring. I'll try to mix it up and get some new ones in pretty soon. So, starting out on the outside here, we can see that there is no peg in the headlight. That's one I always mention it in pretty much every video for the reason that it, it does bother me and it takes a lot of the, um, the quality out of it. Now, I wouldn't say this is the best quality headlight I've seen. It's like the, the xenon light. It's kind of molded to the silver background. I don't know. I think there are better and it just it lacks it lacks just uh I don't know yeah, the design in there you can't really you can't really notice it very well not as as real as the um, actual car the grill cannot go through as you can see but it does have uh, the Mercedes logo which is uh, made out of this chrome color again be careful with the chrome it can very easily uh, come off if it's touched or uh, wet or anything like that. Under here, the AMG engine. Now, this car is very similar to the Mercedes Benz SL65 AMG. And that car, I would not recommend at all getting that car because it is actually <clears throat> incorrectly designed. It has this engine, which is the 6.3 liter uh, V8 by AMG in the 65, which doesn't make sense because that's supposed to have a 6.5 liter V12 or whatever it is, 6.0 liter maybe. Um, but overall in this car it is correct, so that's why I chose to get this one. However, it is just one slab of plastic that they just threw in there. You can see, I mean, it has, it has the detail around here. You got the button or the, um, the fuse box it looks like and then the, um, the suspension coils and as well as just the engine itself but that's about it you really can't see anything underneath there so it's not one of their one of Maisto's best engines definitely and usually when you get these you can actually move the entire thing by moving it that's not really the case with this one though paint quality is pretty good throughout the car however there are pretty large gaps for, as far as the metal work goes so we have one here it just doesn't fit very well Along here, same thing. That's not the best I've seen. Continuing along the back, same thing. This is a license plate that I added. I kind of converted the Euro plate to a US plate. I've done that before with good success. I don't know if I'll be changing it back though. Now this side, yes, yeah, so you can see there's a bigger gap on this side than there is on this. Again, another uh, little issue with the metal work. Nothing really closes very flush along there. And if you really notice it, you can actually see that this is kind of misformed. It's not the it's not like a perfect circle. It's it's almost higher on this end than this, this. And you really kind of have to see it in person to understand what that's uh, what it looks like. And no, it doesn't look bad, but still I've seen Maisto do better, and I know they can do better, so that's why I bring up the issue. Loose uh, splitter there. Spoiler. There's a splitter. Underneath, pretty much all black, um, other than the chrome exhaust pipe, which extends from here. Not a very realistic underside, definitely. Everything is connected to the bottom as what usually happens when you get a budget car. Not the worst, I guess, but definitely not the best. 
It does have suspension. The suspension goes down more in the front than it does in the back. And it does steer. Everything does open, as I've already shown, to a decent sized trunk. However, as this is a hard top, you would expect that since the, the roof is down that you'd see the hard top in here. Not the case, it actually doesn't exist. Interesting. There's that AMG logo, as well as SL63 right there. On the inside of this car, because it's convertible, it's nice and easy to see. This is where um, they kind of improved the quality. So the outside, not the best in the world, but on the inside, they did a pretty good job. I want you to focus on right along here. Now this is, if I can get slightly closer, let's see. There we go. Uh, that's actually kind of a carbon fiber look, and it does look carbon fiber. It's pretty unusual that they would go into that much detail on the side, and it looks pretty good. Now, they, it doesn't make sense that they didn't continue it throughout the car. They just only put it on the doors. There is a little bit of a carbon fiber pattern here, but it's just black, unlike this, which kind of has a, a grayish texture, and it kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic. Here, it doesn't. So, I, I don't really understand that. But all the buttons are colored in, you can see all the dials uh, for the race modes down here and uh, the ashtray as well as even the GPS which is right there. It actually looks like it has a screen on it. I have to get even closer to see it. Seats pretty good overall. Get a little dusty in there. Has a nice texture to it on the bottom for the leather and it has uh, these hooks back here for cargo. Uh, those are not seats back there. SL63 AMG. 6.3 liter. This is actually a 6.2 liter, by the way. They could just call it 6.3. Alright, I probably have sufficiently not been nice to this car, so let me just finish off on a good note and the reason why I bought it. Um, I really do love the AMG models. It's one, they're actually one, my favorite Mercedes. Um, this being the 63, it's at one of my absolute favorites overall. Um, yeah, it does have the issues with with um, the big gaps and, you know, some very minor stuff. But sitting on a shelf, it does look awesome. This is a fantastic looking car and the model does capture it, minus the very small issues. You don't notice it so much. And the interior is still pretty nice. So overall, this is a good Maisto. I wouldn't say it's it's up to par with all their others, but it's still very good, and I still would recommend it on the basis that it looks awesome. And especially if you want an SL63 AMG and you don't want to spend a good $80 or something, $100 or even more than that, Maisto is here for you. Alrighty, so that's everything. And I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.